And then the second question was, is there a significant presence of variants, particularly the UK variant, which we suspected we had in the region? I think I can safely say that we've answered both of those questions. Um, our, our average for our testing sites was higher than the average for all testing sites in the United States for the last six weeks that have been done over the last six weeks. So we do have a significant amount of COVID-19 spread in the region based on the wastewater testing. We also do have a high burden of the UK variant present in our wastewater samples, which as Eric had said, is, uh, has taken over as the dominant strain in the region based on the testing that we have. This information is helpful for, two re for the reasons that we have been uh, very concerned about seeing a younger population spread through the younger population, younger population in the hospitals, and a slight increase in our ICU bed utilization. So this information is helpful for, uh, for us to understand why we're seeing those things over the last few weeks as a community. We have contracted for additional samples. We'll be doing three cycles of testing over a four-week period. We should have a next, the next round of results within the next week or so. And that will help us with trending uh, of the, uh, the virus spread in the region as well and give us some additional data points for that. As an additional point, as Eric had mentioned, we, we have identified, or the health department has identified through routine surveillance, the South African variant, the Brazilian variant here regionally. Again, these things are not surprising. These variants are spreading broadly throughout the United States at this point, and we expected to see them at some point. Here's what's not changed. The vaccine is still a major weapon against all of these strains and can help us get through the pandemic and get to herd immunity. So we're going to continue to encourage people, and I hope you will encourage your friends, family, neighbors who are eligible to go get the vaccine. Um, it definitely can save some lives and reduce uh, morbidity in the community as well.